Welcome to Mobile Insurance's Manufactured Home Retailer's Best Business and Risk Management Practices video. We offer this as part of our industry-leading support for our Manufactured Home Retail Center owning clients. Over the last 25 years, Mobile Insurance has grown to be the nation's leading insurer of Manufactured Home Retailers. Along the way, we've witnessed the best and the worst business practices. It's with this valuable experience, we've developed nine recommendations for maximizing your retail center's return on investment and minimizing its operating risks. Number one, attach sturdy, non-skid steps with handrails at all exterior doors on every accessible home you have. The handrail must be on the same side of the doorway as the door handle. There should be no more than eight inches in height from the top of the top step to the doorway threshold. Back doors should have equally good steps or be secured shut. Slip and falls from steps are the number one loss driver for manufactured home retailers. If your steps aren't safely compliant, your chances of winning a lawsuit are very small. Number two, the retail center should be clear of all slip and fall hazards and well lit. Potholes should be filled. Seams and sidewalks and walkways should be level. Debris should be picked up and all tools and equipment stored when not in use. And finally, you should have a formal ice and snow removal policy. Overall, good housekeeping demonstrates you are a responsible business operator and that you take good care of your customers. Number three, choose manufacturers that will back you up when manufacturing problems arise. Your manufacturer partners should liberally honor their warranties and service obligations. When product issues arise, they should be responsive and attentive. If you have repeat consumer complaints regarding their home and the manufacturer is inattentive, it's time to make a change. Your written agreements with your home suppliers should clearly state when and where you take title, ownership, and risk of loss on the homes, at the factory or at your location. Your written agreements should also state that you have the right to refuse any homes that arrive with damage, plus any homes which are not what you ordered. Finally, your agreements should never make you contractually responsible to defend or indemnify the manufacturer should home defect problems arise. Number four, properly select and manage the subcontractors you hire. When selling manufactured homes, you may regularly subcontract out installation, transportation, AC installation, land clearing, foundation pouring, and utility infrastructure development. All that perform this work should have references, be properly licensed, and sign a performance agreement for subcontractors. You can find one under the Forms tab at mobileagency.com. Likewise, transporters and installers you hire should sign the Transporter Installer Contract, also found under the same tab. All subcontractors should provide a certificate of insurance, which shows they carry general liability, workers' compensation, and commercial auto liability, plus cargo insurance when applicable. Without this certificate, you're likely to be the only one financially able to take care of problems when they arise. About one-third of all liability claims against manufacturer home retailers are caused primarily by subcontractors. Number five, designate who in your company can drive on company business, even company errands in their own vehicle. Only safe drivers with good driving records should drive on company business, and we can check driving records for you. All approved drivers should sign the Loss Control Driver's Safety Agreement, found under the Loss Control tab of mobileagency.com. This form clearly spells out that handheld phone usage of any kind is not allowed while driving on company business, and that violation of this rule will result in immediate termination of employment. Texting while driving caused accidents should never happen. All company-owned vehicles should be routinely maintained. Number six, secure your property against theft. A proper combination of fences, locking gates, locking doors, lighting, alarms, and camera warning signs are a good defense against theft of valuable appliances, tools, equipment, and other property. Armed guards and guard dogs should not be used as they potentially create more liability than they limit. Periodically, take a video of your office, equipment, and a lot as evidence of what is there and archive the video. 
As cyber theft attempts are constant, you must also make sure that your computer systems have proper firewalls and that all security software is up to date. Customer data you have collected must be carefully protected from theft. Number 7. Professionally close all home sales. The closing forms used should be carefully chosen. Your finance company partners and state trade associations are excellent sources for the best and most up-to-date forms. Arbitration agreements should be signed whenever legally permissible. If you are supplying steps with a home, use our temporary step notice found under the Forms tab of mobileagency.com. Outside closing agents or properly trained managers, not commissioned salespeople, should conduct closings. All required disclosures must be properly introduced and signed. Never overpromise. Accurately setting expectations is a key to avoiding consumer complaints and litigation. Number 8. Areas off limits for customers should be clearly marked and fenced whenever possible. Customers should not be able to wander into hazardous work areas or into homes which are being refurbished. Any older homes with soft, sagging floors must be locked. Also, customers should rarely be unattended while looking at homes. Unattended customers account for an alarming amount of slip-and-fall lawsuits. And number nine, maintain a safe office. You should have working smoke detectors and fire alarms. A fire extinguisher should be accessible. The entryway steps should be wide, sturdy, and have handrails if there are more than two steps. Also, entryway emergency exits must be illuminated. In summary, following these nine basic management practices is just smart business. It will lower losses, improve your business, and result in enhanced returns for both you and your customers. Contact us if you have any further questions. We feel fortunate to be part of your team and are anxious to go to work for you.